Hello everyone, this is Sabrina Jean. Welcome to my YouTube channel and subscribers, welcome back. Welcome to these special messages from your spirit guides. Not only about your immediate future, but this special video reading is going to share with you information about certain spiritual activations that you might be receiving right now and which chakras they are more likely affecting in a positive way, of course. And within each pile, I'm going to try and determine, like other signs, symbols, or lucky numbers. Uh, all things that you can look out for. For, well, something is manifesting now or in your immediate future. So I took the liberty of marking each pile with a colored number, but for those of you who prefer crystals... Pile number one is a rainbow obsidian. Pile number two is amazonite. Pile three is a carnelian. And pile number four is a rose quartz. So choose as many piles or crystals that you feel drawn to. And let's get started. Pile number one. All right, pile number one for those of you who were attracted to the rainbow obsidian. And by the way, how many of you are aware of the solar flares, the CMEs, and the geomagnetic activity that's been happening on the planet? Um, today is April 24, and I don't want to say mark my words, but usually after some intense solar activity, we've been experiencing uh, more weather outbreaks and extreme um weather storms and that sort of thing, usually following a few days after that sort of energy. You know what I mean. So if you're interested or you're intrigued about space weather or how spiritual and earth energies are here supporting you every day, then I welcome you to sign up on my Patreon. I now have a new tier, which also receives energetic activations every day. So do come and check it out. Pile number one, let's get to your messages. Thank you for listening to my introduction. So pile one, your immediate future. What do you need to know? Messages from your spirit guides. Here, I think I will need more room than that. All right. So we're using numbers and elements as well today. Two of water. So this is a manifestation from the heart. Your heart. You also have the ace earth energy, and the mini message here says plant seeds of intentions. So since today is technically a 10 energy manifestation day, this is what's revealing um, something that's manifesting for you. So you also have six of fire. Six is a peaceful transitional energy in numerology, but you're being activated. So it's like it's an earth activation which is technically activating in your life all of the tangible resources that you need. So this could be home, food, water, shelter, money, abundance. Sometimes the activations are felt within the chakras. So for some of you, well, actually, I think, okay, considering these numbers here, these are internal activations within your cells and your DNA. Let's look at your other messages. So you might be feeling you're having tower moments at the moment, but ultimately you are building strength. So the deeper you can connect yourself or ground yourself with the earth, the more abundance you are going to tap into, the more abundance you are going to receive. Not only from earth, but from the universal forces as well. You also have the Hermit. And, all right, <laughs> I had to pause and fix the cards. But now that I'm looking at these, so eight is the number of infinity. The infinity symbol is probably a special symbol, sign, or an activation, a message from your spirit guides about something that is happening. This is like 
a rapid spiritual transformation or an activation within you, either your mind, your emotions, or your physical body, your chakras. But what's activating is your path forward and an opportunity also for you to connect not only with the earth, but with your spirit guides or higher dimensions. Because this is a heart-based uh, activation, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, something you've been wishing for, for your future. Oh, and if we add the two and six together, which totals the number eight, eight, <laughs> abundance, infinity symbol, and pentacles, these are your special signs uh, and synchronicities to, well, look out for. As a reminder that something amazing is manifesting for you. It's also important to remember that some manifestations are internal, others are external, and yours so far are internal because I think your spirit guides are just wanting you to trust and believe that you are worthy of receiving all the abundance that you need. Once you change what you believe, then your external reality will start to manifest change for you to witness, which is ultimately your confirmation that, um, well, it's your confirmation. So what's going on right now? So magic, this is spiritual magic. And why do I say spiritual? Because the number seven is here. Some of you might resonate with the number 25. Oh, spontaneous spiritual magic transformation, activations. This isn't something to fear. And I just want to throw this out here. People who are afraid of things, um, maybe this is something that you need to be working with doing your self-work or shadow work because a lot of people fear what is hidden or what they cannot see or what they cannot feel. And well, the more you do your self-work and spend time becoming more aware. Not only self-aware, but more aware of your sensitivities, your dreams, your desires, uh, your heart, and how you are connected to infinity already. You're an extension of infinity existing here on the planet for this period of time. One more card. So see, now you have another strength card. So strength, the oak tree, is just a confirmation that what everything that you need in order to feel safe and secure, not only within your own body, but within your home, is, let me put this right here, manifesting. So if this is something that you're longing for, pile number one, please do allow it to manifest. But trust that you will receive exactly what you need. And this is also part of your message today for everyone who chose pile number one, to trust that, well, also believe that you are already abundant. So open up your heart, plant seeds of intentions to allow the earth to provide you with all of the abundance that you need to be peaceful, to be safe to be strong and also possibly to feel protected. Allow the magic to happen. Wow, pile number ones, these are the messages that I have for you today. If you enjoy my interpretations and readings, please do hit the like button to show your support. Again, if you'd like to receive daily Reiki activations, join my Patreon. My link is down below. I'm still running my mini reading special offer as well. Actually, all of my links are down below this video. Pile ones, I hope that you are able to open up your heart and allow yourself to receive these amazing activations from the light your spirit guides to bring you strength, abundance, money, safety, whatever it is that you specifically need in your life right now today and moving forward. Bye for now.
Hello there, pile number two. For those of you who chose the Amazonite crystal, welcome to your messages about your immediate future, messages from your spirit guides, and let's see if there are any signs or synchronicities that you should be um, watching for. Okay. So starting with the numbers, eight, well, this is eight of pentacles, abundance, wholeness, self-empowerment, this also resonates with um, infinity, the infinity symbol, and your connection to the earth and all the earth uh, resources that are available to you. I find it interesting that the no joker is popping up. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't realize the joker was still in, <laughs> in the deck when I was pulling your numbers. Okay. And then you have five of earth. There's earth. Earth, okay. Pile number two, you are experiencing some sort of personal transformation. However, oh, okay. This is a deep transformation within, um, but this transformation might be feeling like physical or emotional sensitivities. This is because your cellular structure, your DNAs are likely receiving activations from the solar flares and the other space weather that has been affecting the planet as of late. Everything is meant to empower you. But the energy of transformation or the purpose of transformation may cause, well, a variety of different sorts of symptoms for you. Let's look at your other messages and see what else we can understand. Okay, so you have the hanged man here. The lovers. And the sun. I'm wondering, yeah, I'm really curious about the Joker. Oh, okay. So here's actually a yes or no. <laughs> Pick a card reading for pile number two, which we probably didn't expect in your video today. So this is especially for those of you who are wondering if, if you're experiencing any kind of craziness or uncertainty or symptoms and you're not sure what's going on, especially if you are um, having challenges within your mental health or your emotional body or something else. For those of you who are wondering... If, okay, well, how is the right way to put this? You are seriously concerned about your health and well-being, and you're wondering if, well, you're wondering what's going on. So in your specific mind, if you're asking whatever, spirit is saying no. So let me just put it this way. Whatever you're experiencing in these symptoms, physical, emotional, or otherwise, this is um, these are the effects of a spiritual ascension, a transcendence. It's also happening within your physical body. So your connection with the earth is extremely important right now, and also your connection with your heart. So if you haven't done any heart chakra work, uh, now is the perfect time. To do so, to open up your heart, to heal your heart, to release the heart walls and traumas from the past because uh, something just said you're going through a purification process. So everything you're witnessing or experiencing or feeling is a spiritual process for your purpose, your path, your future. Okay, so now I got it. But for those of you wondering if what you're experiencing is like... Is it evil or, you know, did someone else do this to you? Or, you know, is there anything to fear in this situation? No, your answer is no. Connect with your angels. Connect with your guides, your higher self. Connect with the earth. And it will reveal um, everything that you need to know about your current situation. And in the bigger picture, what's happening, especially now in your immediate future, you are being strengthened. You are being encouraged to connect with your higher self or your guides because they're, 
there's more, there's like changing activity or energy in your immediate future. And this is probably related to one of your life cycles, which could be numerology or it could be astrological, but love is supporting you. The universe is already supporting you. Higher consciousness, joy, and the sun and happiness are in your future. Um, but whatever you're experiencing right now, it's it's really making you reconsider or give serious consideration to what's happening within yourself or your mind or your body. And I'm really hoping that these are making sense. It's all activating you to empower yourself, to bring you strength and confidence to move forward with something in your life or just to move forward, period. And to face the uncertainties of, well, the distant future. The only thing that's certain is right here in this present moment and what's happening for you now and also what kind of positive energy or healing energy you can tap into right now. Oh, I almost forgot. Wow, I was like running away with the messages and I forgot. You've got two more cards, pile number two. <laughs> okay, so courage. This, I was saying strength, empowerment, courage, um, positivity, excitement for your future path. Okay, the butterflies are here, just confirming a transformation. And you, of course, are the wizard of the woods. You can focus, but it's important to remember to focus on one thing at a time, one energy at a time. And look at this, you're probably a healer of some sorts. So you have the ability to focus and take control to manage your current, you know, whatever this is that is happening in your lives right now. It's preparing you for your immediate future, which you do, can, and will have complete control over. But I think focus might be one of your biggest challenges. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, pile number two. But for some of you, you know, more money, stability is coming in your immediate future. Even though right now everything might seem uncertain, you are protected. You're being guided by the universe. So I hope you can trust that and remain positive and optimistic. Find the courage and the joy and excitement to move forward with open eyes and nothing to fear. And these are the messages that I have for Pile 2s today. I would love for you to sign up on my Patreon. I have created a new tier. If you would like to tune into the daily spiritual universal, earth, energies, metaphysical practices, remedies, or receive Reiki activations, distance energy healing from myself, of course, all available now on my Patreon. And my other specials are also still available too. So if you would like to benefit from something else that I offer, feel free to check out my links, which are down near the timestamps. In the meantime, pile number two, have an awesome day. Feel free to comment below and share what sort of stuff you've been experiencing uh, just because curious minds want to know. And thank you again for supporting my YouTube channel. If you enjoy these messages, please do hit the like button to show your support. I appreciate you so much and have a nice day. I'll see you in another video. Pile three, welcome to your messages today about your immediate future, plus messages from your spirit guides for those of you who chose the carnelian. We will also look to see any kind of signs or symbols, um, as well as information about activations that you might be receiving right now in your life. So let's just dive in and look at the numbers first. So you've got four with the error element, which is information. Wow, nice. So you're receiving a heart chakra activation right now sometimes with a heart activation the yeah the heart chakra activation you might feel something in your in your chest or between your chest and your throat just saying oh look at this so these activations are happening within your heart and your throat 
affecting uh, the way you communicate or express yourself. Wow, so there's a lot of air, and then there's water. Let's look at your other. Let's look at your other cards. Pile number three, the Empress. Oh, the Fool. New beginning, new path. This is your immediate future. Oh, uh, moving forward from a heart-based intention. Follow your heart. And while you're moving forward, there are certain changes that are happening within your personal expression or, again, your throat chakra. I feel like some of you are a messenger. There's a special message that you have to share with other people. Oh, okay. And you also have the Ace of Wands. Forward movement. Okay, so on the not-so-spiritual side, some of you are about to receive a promotion within your work or an opportunity to start a new job or a new uh, role within the company that you work for. Right now, your immediate future is uh, bringing more stability, not only within your home, but also your career and, well, moving into your future. So let's look at your other cards. So you have refuge. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like these changes are for you and your immediate future are happening within you. These are internal changes. So what I do is I combine the energy and the information from not only numerology, but also astrology uh, to interpret the deeper messages to help guide you. So this is, okay, that's funny. I was saying, okay, beyond spiritual, but it's coming back to spiritual. So these changes are meant to help you feel more strong or within your home, feeling grounded, more heart-based love rather than fear. Oh, so instead of reacting spontaneously or emotionally, which you probably are capable of doing um, right now, what's happening for you, it's preparing you for your immediate future is helping you to feel grounded, abundant, wise. Oh, look at your last card. Wisdom. Maybe I should just lay this down. The owl might be a significant bird for you to watch out for um maybe just reminding you or bringing you confirmations that you're going through some sort of um personal transformation but what's being activated are well is in your heart chakra which will not only help you to connect with your spirit guides in the universe or god more easily and effectively but to realize it's also guiding you forward in your life. So especially for those of you who are uncertain about your immediate future, what you really need to know is when you tune into your heart chakra, when you tune into unconditional love and compassion, especially within, uh, this is how you're being guided, then you will instantly know exactly what you need to do at the moment. Some of you are changing your paths. Some of you are walking towards more simplicity and gratitude and healing in life. Maybe some of you are longing to move um, like away from people <laughs> um, because there's a reason here. So yeah, there's a lot of um, forest and woods and trees and mountains in your reading today. Pile number three. So the carnelian is saying this is a creative. Your future, if, sorry, your immediate future is being created by you. Your thoughts, your heart-based intentions, your feelings, your beliefs, and your choices and your actions. So how many of you have been wanting to move? You are being guided by divine wisdom. 
by ancient wisdom. The birds probably also resonate with you. So spirit already knows that you want to feel secure and safe as you move forward with your life. Uh, and again, there's something that you know, there's maybe even ancient knowledge that you hold within yourself that helps other people. And this can happen just by you know, having conversations with day-to-day, -day, you know, uh, interacting with people out in public or on social media. So I know there's a lot of messages here for a lot of different people. These pick-a-card readings aren't necessarily meant to give you like one wrapped up complete message or guidance to tell you exactly what you need to do, but take what resonates because what I resonate from these is like your heart chakra is being activated. You are being guided through your intuition and your feelings. You're being guided by the birds or also ancient wisdom, which are trees, earth, water, love. This is what's strengthening you. And as you always tune into your heart for internal guidance every day, you will receive direction whether to move, act, or do, or be, any time that you tap into this. So you, in your immediate future, you will have the support and the strength from a safe platform, a safe home, you know what I mean, uh, which are helping you navigate the uncertainty or the changes that are happening in your life right now. This is helping you to activate and follow the inspiration and the guidance um, as you move forward one day at a time, one step at a time. So we have wands here. We also have a crystal ball, <laughs> hearts, owls, birds, nature. Oh, pile three, listen to your natural body as it is guiding you. And I understand that not everyone feels their body. Not everyone is connected to their body. There is a reason for that. Uh, it has everything to do with your astrology and also your numerology um, and the life that you chose to experience in your own little snow globe per se. If you'd love to learn more about this, then I welcome you to sign up on my Patreon, and I'd be more than happy to enlighten you with more information, whatever you need to know about your life right now and moving forward. So in the meantime, these are the messages that I have for Pile Threes. If you enjoy these interpretations, please do hit the like button to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and have an awesome day. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Pile four, welcome to your messages today about your immediate future, messages from your spirit guides. For those of you who chose the rose quartz, we'll also see if we can determine any signs or symbols or synchronicities for you to watch out for. And so let's start off with your numbers. There's three. There's an activation, well, within your personal expression. So do you feel that you are able to express yourself easily or not. <laughs> Queen of Water, Eight of Fire, interesting. Let's look at your other cards really quickly. Excuse me. Death card. Endings of something. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me bring this down here. Clarity. Clarity is in your immediate future. Something has been ending or in the process of ending. It could have been like a long cycle or a short cycle in your life. Because we all go through cycles of growth that prepare us for the future or our path or our purpose. Okay. So... Technically, you have the Queen of Cups here, water element. 
Oh my gosh. So I just heard it's the end of time or time itself. Time doesn't really exist. It just exists in the earth realm because everything is slowed down so much um, according to actual space, time, reality. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, so pile for your immediate future, you're going through a very powerful change or shift. But this is a change in your perceptions, a change in your reality. So for those of you who have been working on changing your reality using Law of Attraction, well, congratulations, because this is about to happen. All right. So this is you. You've been working diligently in your space, um, following your instincts and trusting that something is happening. And then your other card Look at this. It's saying that you are manifesting your dreams. Oh, look at that. So we have 46, another number 10. 10 is actually the 10th day of our current 13-day energy cycle of the sun. And all 10 days manifest something into physical consciousness or physical conscious reality. But for you... Oh, pile number four. <laughs> You're being, okay, so this is what I'm feeling. You're being activated from the earth, and you're also being activated by the universe. So you're grounded in the earth, but you have the ability to tune into um, the universal support system or your spirit guides, which are helping you to manifest your dreams. However, it's also important to trust that we specifically or individually are not necessarily the ones who physically manifest because otherwise we would just physically manifest with our hands. It's spirit energy. It's the universe that brings all the synchronicities together based on what you've been working on, holding intentions for, planting seeds, feeding, growing, asking to create. This is what's manifesting. So Queen of Cups is, well, the nurturer. It's the divine feminine. It's the happy heart. It's personal fulfillment. It's also empowerment. The eight might be another sign or symbol for you to look out for. If you've been seeing eights, it probably means that you're in a process of, well, reclaiming your personal power or finding empowerment within yourself or within your life, which also connects you with infinity, which brings you the abundance that you need, well, to fulfill your life or fulfill your dreams or any abundance that is necessary. For that will sustain you while you are like working on this co creative project, this manifestation. So, huge transformations are happening for you right now, but you will also find truth or purpose or clarity about the specific project or goal that you've been working on. And this is a creative. Uh, it's a creative gift that you have. Oh, some of you have a creative gift for manifesting. But again, there are like four major elements that you must embody 100% before it's going to manifest in your external world for your eyes to see. First, you have to feel it within. You have to trust that it's out there. And then remove yourself from time. Because, well, there is no time, so there really is no waiting for your dreams to manifest because as soon as you allow them to manifest, boom, they will manifest. They will start manifesting now. Pile number four. Oh, I just noticed here. So add these two numbers together, eight and three. Totals the number 11. <laughs> 11 is not only a spiritual number, but 11 represents a doorway, an open doorway. Connecting you when you're grounded with the earth, connecting you with cosmic intelligence, uh, universal guidance, spirit guides, well, and beyond. 
So I believe pile four today in these messages is the metaphysical pile. Um, because whatever you've been working on, it's happening. It's working. So maybe this is the only mantra you need to say right now. It's happening. It's happening. And then allow more synchronicities to unfold for you. So spirals or clocks might also be uh, symbols or signs for you to watch out for. Fast moving water like rivers. Oh, wow. Pile number four, you are and you have been creating and manifesting your own abundance flow. So this is just a confirmation for some who are working on tapping into a constant flow of abundance. Like always receiving whatever you need. And abundance is everything. Ooh, sorry, that was my stomach. So pile number four is these are the messages that I have for you and about your immediate future, which actually is already happening now. If you get out of your head, <laughs> if you get out of the way, allow the universe to start manifesting this for you in your physical reality and watch your dreams come true. If you enjoy these messages and interpretations, please do hit the like button to show your support. I've created a new Patreon tier, the 555 tier. If you are interested in tuning into the daily spiritual earth energies and support system, as well as receive metaphysical guidance, spiritual readings for well, your life, your health and well-being and for your future, then I welcome you to sign up. All my links for all my offers are down near the timestamps. But in the meantime... Have a beautiful day, pile number four, and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.